Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Valleys. In this series of videos, we are talking about the best book series, the best book for different subjects that of our choice. Now for these different subjects, for the books that I am going to mention, there are three books mentioned for individual videos. Among these three books, it's not likely we are putting in the rank 1, 2, 3, no. All the three books are important because sometimes one book covers some topics better than the other book. That's why we have three books listed for you so that you understand which topics are well written in which books and you can choose that book accordingly. And this book selection is purely based on my personal preference and the way I pursued the book when I read it. The book selection and choice might vary from viewers to viewers. So it is advised that if you want to purchase the book or if you want to read from the book, at least see a sample copy or see the soft copy or PDF version of the book first and then get them. Another advice, if you want to get these books, get it in the colored version. If not possible to buy and afford the original printed version of the book, you can get a PDF and get a colored printout, which still is better in terms of understanding. And if you want to get this book, buy this book, the list of the books and their buying links from Amazon uh, is there in the description. You can click that and you can see uh, the books and you can check the details, you can check the reviews and can decide to purchase or not to purchase. Okay. And at the end, I'll also mention about which book to select and which book not to select based on your requirements. So let's begin. All right. So here I am with the best books for human physiology. If you are an undergraduate or postgraduate students of human physiology or physiology as a general and want to understand the basic and fundamental concepts of physiology, then these are the three best books that you'll ever get. So we have this list with me and the very first book that I'm going to tell, this book is a fan favorite. Like people are fan of this book from human physiology, whether you are a graduate or postgraduate of human physiology or whether you are MBBS. Medicos also love this book. Everybody reads this book and this one is Guyton and Hall. And there is no doubt that Guyton and Hall is one of the best, like the book for physiology. Guyton and Hall, the book name is Medical Physiology, the textbook of medical physiology by John E. Hall and Michael E. Hall. This book is fabulous in many terms. The best feature is that comprehensive and detailed coverage of human physiology you will get here. And the explanations are very clear and concise. All the complicated topics of human physiology are very well described in here. And uh, the excellent clinical correlation of uh, this particular book makes it much, much recommended by doctors and MBBS students during their uh, graduation journey. Now, the important topics that you are going to get from these books, all the human systems are important. This book is an all-rounder. It's a gem of a book. But still, cardiovascular physiology, respiratory system, renal and acid-based balance, neurophysiology and endocrine system, all these important systems of the body, these are very well covered in Guyton and Hall Human Physiology, the textbook of medical physiology book. The term medical is already incorporated. Now, there are many colleges uh, of graduate and masters of, like generally in graduation of human physiology, they don't refer this particular book because of its complexity and the medical uh, angle that this book serves while they go for another book and I have this book for you if you find Guyton a little more over explained or more complex it might be a case if you are a graduate uh, of or, or, or like BSc in, uh, in human physiology or at that moment in MSc obviously go with that but in BSc you can go with uh, this particular book this is again uh, principles of human physiology by Stanfield so uh, Cindy L. Stanfield is the writer of this book, The Human Physiology particularly. And this book, Principle of Human Physiology, also offers easy to understand format and very clear diagrams. So this one is for the beginners. If you are non-medical student and learning physiology basics, then go with this book. It has a good balance between cellular physiology as well as the systemic uh, physiology. Because the systemic physiology is a large scale uh, context at the whole human body and how it's behaving, how it's functioning. And there's also a thing called cellular physiology where individual cell has their own physiology and the way they function. So both of these things are covered uh, in this particular book by uh, Stanfield. And uh, clinical case studies are there. Pro problem solving approaches are also there. 
yeah there are less online resources present in this book than the guyton because guyton hall uh, so much online resources are already incorporated in that important topics you will understand all this all the systems of human body be it nervous respiratory cardiovascular digestive muscle contraction renal and immune system everything is covered in this particular book now let's go to the third one and the third one here is human physiology an integrated approach by silverthorne okay so silverthorne's book this is less common compared to the first two one but human physiology by silverthorne is another good book and this book uh, features uh, uh, overall integrative approach of combining cellular organ and systemic physiology all together well designed visuals and very much interactive learning resources that are available that makes this, this book a little attractive uh, over the the last one that we talked and it focus on homeostasis and feedback mechanisms so you know in human body homeostasis is one of the most important or key uh, fundamental concept that you understand homeostasis is a balancing of the uh, important parameters of our body be it the temperature be it uh, the blood sugar level be it the blood calcium calcium level all these things the body regulates it balance it and the way they balance it that whole approach is the it's known as the homeostasis of the body and homeostasis is the key how human body works and how how it serves so here what we know is that the feedback there there are feedback mechanisms that actually regulate the homeostasis for example in your blood if the blood glucose level lowers down then you need to supply glucose to the blood and when the glucose is supplied to the blood uh, then it signals to stop the process of again further supplying uh, glucose to the blood so that is called a negative feedback loop or feedback inhibition loop so this sort of feedback mechanisms are very well explained in this particular book uh, e and cellular approach like cell signaling and communication will be there homeostasis and feedback loop is very well explained so that's why i put these two topics are the usp of this book apart from that endocrine system respiratory system muscle and uh, uh, neural physiology all these systems these systems are obviously in there uh, in this particular book that you are going to get okay so uh, that's that's all regarding the best three books of human physiology if you are a medical students a medico or nursing students anything you go with the guyton and hall without any doubt but if you are a beginner and find guyton and hall difficult then uh, you choose the other one that i mentioned uh, and you can choose this book to understand uh, the silverthorn book to understand uh, the cell signaling communication the homeostasis part well okay so depend on your requirement you can choose any of this all right so i believe uh, i have already clearly stated the difference between all the three books which topics are well covered in one book more than the other so the usp of the books are clearly explained now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement but remember this is all my personal preferences if you want to check check out the book the link is there in the description you can click the link and you can see the details hopefully you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye